wonder how to pick the lipstick for yourself instead of just getting the best seller from the store? Or do you love the lip color on your girlfriend's lips but when you try it, it actually just look, make you look like a teabag lady? So actually, there are like 1001 lipstick color out there and it's really really difficult for you to find out which one is suitable for you. So keep on watching to find out how to find that flattering and foxy lip color for yourself. Okay. So the first tip before I want to go on to choosing the right color is that the shape of your lips do decide what kind of uh, lipstick you should be getting. So the one rule of thumb is that if you have, um, I would say if you want to accentuate your lip, you should be going for brighter and bolder colors. And likewise, if you want to look, uh, minimize the shape of your lips, you should be going for a bold, uh, I mean a darker colors. So if you want to have lips like Kylie Jenner, you should be trying on bolder and brighter colors. Another tip that you want to consider is that you might want to get one perfect lipstick that will carry you throughout the day and onward to nighttime socializing at the bar. So you might want to get a lipstick that is uh, several steps up of your natural lip color. It will actually make you look more refreshed and uh, not so drappy at the same time. And of course, we will come to the focal point of this video. So you can't choose a right lip color if you don't know what is your skin tone. So I'm sure you have heard of the word cool and warm before. This is a color wheel, all right? So I'm sure you have seen this in your art and craft classes and whatnot. So this color wheel is in general idea, we divide it into half. So the top part of it's from, I'm sorry, um, from the reds all the way to the yellow green is the category of warm colors. So you see a lot of yellows and orange and reds. And likewise, you see the bottom parts so of there are a lot of blues and greens and violets. This is the category of cool colors. So now that we have described what is warm or cool, how do you tell whether you belong to each or the other family? So there are two ways you can find. One is to look at the inner wrist, um, the veins, and you have to do it under the natural sunlight. So if you see your veins under the natural sunlight and it appears bluish to you, then you belong to the cool family. And likewise, if you look, the veins look a little bit greenish, then you can say that you are warm. So if you can see mine, it's a little greenish. So I'm definitely in the warm category. Actually, it's very, very greenish. Okay. So another way uh, to tell whether you are a cool or warm family is if you tend to get a tan, more than a burn when you go under the sun, then most likely you are in the warm family. And likewise, if you burn very badly uh, when you do go under the sun, then that's when you are can considered as a cool. So today we're going to have uh, four gorgeous associates of ours to come and demonstrate uh, the right lip color. Will how does it enhance your look when you have the right person wearing the right lip colors? So um, can we have our four gorgeous associates? So we have uh, Melinda, Joy, and Kat, and last but not least, um, Rose. So we're going to have the ladies to try out all the lip colors. And today we are featuring this brand. It's a local home brand called Four Face. And they have been around for about a year or so. And their makeup range from uh, your best seller mascara to uh, the mousse mattifying foundation that can withstand our hot and humid weather. So today we are featuring um, their lipsticks and it's a matte lip liquid. Okay, so it's all in the color of Lucid, Aura and Bad. So we're going to have all these ladies try out the lip color and let's see how they actually will look in it. <laughs> so as you can see, actually every one of them um, has different skin tone and uh, different um, hair color as well. So as you can see, Kat over here, she's um, having very very fair skin and very jet black dark hair. So she's actually considered a cool, in which uh, the lucid will look really really gorgeous on her and it flatters her skin tone a lot. So on my left is Melinda, 
So pardon her while she's putting on her makeup. But you can see that she is of a much, much darker tone and she has very gorgeous brown hair. So definitely that makes her a warm uh, in her skin tone. And she's trying on the bare color, so it will definitely flatter her and not make her washed out as most lipstick tend to have that effect. So on my far right is Rose. So Rose is in the middle. She's not as dark as Melinda, but she's not that fair as Kat either. So she's what we call in the middle and coral colors, which is the aura, will actually flatter her skin tone. stand out and uh, because it really flatters the skin tone a lot, the colour really stand out for and it does make her look really really refreshed and bright. And Rose here, it, it complements her hair colour, it complements her outfit and she just looks very brighter, much brighter and you know she doesn't have to put much colours other than that the colour on its own. But Linda is trying the bear, as you can see it complements her entire outfit. Uh, she doesn't look washed out but neither is the colour very uh, centric so it just has a overall flow to the entire outfit for the day. So I didn't introduce Joy. Joy is, um, is an example I want to show you when wearing a wrong lip colour how would it affect the entire outlook for the day. So as you can see um, Joy has fair skin tone but has a lot of yellow base underneath. So wearing a very, very uh, nude brown actually makes her look a little dark and drappy at the end of the day. So instead, probably colours like um, an aura would have suit her better. Okay, so um, I'm so sorry to make you a bad example, but I have to show everyone that how the right colour will actually bring out the best in you. And the wrong lip colour does have some certain impact on how you look. But of course, I just want to add Just because someone tells you you're not At the end of the day, if you do like a certain colour, just wear it Because confidence is the best tool that you can to rock any outfit or any big colour that you have So anyway, this um, is the end of it So if you're interested to find out more about how colours work for you And what colours actually will look, make you look better do click on the link and uh, to find out more and have a consultation with us. So till then, this is Celeste signing out. Bye. 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 <laughs>